About 80% of Kenya's territory consists of dry land, the so-called arid and semi-arid lands. A large part lies in the north of the country, where about 4 million people live mainly from nomadic and semi-nomadic pastoralism. In these regions, overgrazing combined with high population growth has led to environmental degradation and intertribal conflicts. In Marsabit, the largest county of Kenya, lies Lysamis. There are no permanent rivers and the dry seasons can get severe. Men are forced to migrate farther and farther in search of pasture and water for their livestock. Moreover, not all groundwater sources are suitable for human consumption. Women and children are often left behind and rely on scarce and mostly unprotected water sources. Only about 35% of the population has access to safe water. The climate is quite harsh, it's dry. Mostly we experience drought. The community that live here are pastoralists. Most of the time, they have problem with getting water. We have shallow wells, which are not enough. During dry seasons, they dry up. We have boreholes from national government and county government. And during drought, they break, they break down. The community, a priority remains water. As a response to these recurrent extended dry seasons, development investments from the government or NGOs often turn into emergency responses. At times, over 50% of the population depends on trucks that deliver water to them. As this is costly and not at all sustainable, the need for reliable long-term solutions is evident. Caritas Switzerland has been working in Marsabit together with communities since the severe drought in 2011. Based on built expertise and positive experiences with rock catchments in South Sudan, this concept to harvest rainwater seems to have great potential, which has not yet been fully exploited in the rocky region of Lysamis. Rock catchments are rainwater collection systems. They are composed of catchment area, one or several rocks with gathering systems, and one or more wares. The runoff water from the surface is channeled through a filtration box towards the outlets in the wire wall. From there, it is piped into closed storage tanks. Once the water has reached the tanks, it is stored safely and protected from contamination and evaporation. We started with a topographical survey that we did together with technical consultants. During the survey, we wanted to find out the effective catchment area, the water runoff potential, and the needed storage tank capacities. Through measurements and calculations, we mapped out the best possible wire location to maximize the catchment area and calculate the volume of the reservoir. People in Lysamis could not imagine how rocks could harvest enough water to make a difference in their lives. So, we arranged a visit for 12 villagers to Kajado County, which lies south of Nairobi. In Kajado, people of Maasai tribe are close ethnic relatives of Samburu and Rendile of Lysamis and have a shared livestock-based livelihood. There, we showed them a rock catchment system that is successfully managed by a community group. Lakini kore epiku binairi de kuloto kana lang ni koro community. Namarangare ngare ngare eltingi ngare Nairobi. 
kore apa mbari ni ngasukula tangi na na kogol olenga mu ngolong kop meti tongana na kopa mukesho mwe rukoresiom na kol gasi kele lega si amuke de mbangonto monona tarap soit na chan chan ne pekel tangi ngar ne put kela tongana ne furaya oleng ke ta cham kola tangi oleng amuke tero to yo oleng ke tero to yo kola tangi oleng Apa nak rumah di sini? Ada sekitar empat ada, ada sekitar, ada sekitar empat ada nari. Nanda apa lagi nari? Nuk bunuh tuan ni kan bangga. Kurang baju tu bukan sayi ille. Baju siling gini dah agun tu gaya. Pada ni anare dah, orang siling gini dah ada tu gaya orang siling gini yang boleh. Nasib pada si dia anare, ada ayah boleh yang anare. In Laisamis, our rock surfaces are between 10,000 and 20,000 square meters. This means that on average, each rock catchment system can harvest more than 1 million liters per rain season. For our villages, this means 40 liters per household during the dry season, if this is the only source of water. It is very important that considerable time is taken to have meetings with the community to mobilize them. One also has to consider the choice of infrastructure technology because this has a strong bearing on the sustainability of the system. Moreover, it's not always easy to find capable and qualified contractors to do this kind of works. And as alternative, what can be done is to hire artisans and procure materials separately, provide basic training so that they are able to understand the specifics, and finally to achieve the desirable capacity level required for the management committees, it is important they are accompanied for a considerable period of time. A well-designed and a well-built rock catchment system will initially require high investment but in the long run, it is user-friendly and more sustainable. We have a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money, and a lot of money. We have 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 a lot of money. Kau lebih gigih saya, kau sobat. Kau lebih buntu kena angka, kau sobat. Ini untuk yang kerana ini non kuatnya.